Hey, this is BB. I'm here with my dog Ruby. She's tearing apart a, a chew toy that I got her from um, Petco. Hey, good girl. Um, I'm, I, we haven't had a mini game in this one like we have with the others, so um, I wonder if that's coming up or if we're just not going to do it. Wow. Hey. <laughs> See, you don't even have to know the rules. You just make them up. Come on, let's get out of here. What? Yeah. Don't make an angry face at me. He's looking kind of tired. Robert and I cooled down a bit as we walked back to the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just really get into the art of filmmaking when I drink. I think you're probably a film snob all of the time. <laughs> I like movies that are bad deliberately on purpose. I watch them um, because it removes kind of the artifice of having to take a medium that's so inherently ridiculous seriously. You know what I mean? Um, Noodle says, it's okay. I think it's cool how much you like movies. To be honest, I don't know a lot about them myself. <laughs> Buddy, I got so much to show you. <laughs> you ever see any Sam Fuller? Quit trying to put, shove off all your weird shit on me. I haven't. Oh boy. Fuller is cash. Um. All of these are really cute. Thanks for defending my honor. Thanks for the dinner and a movie. Thanks for the adventure. I wasn't as big of a fan of the adventure or the fighting as I was about the dinner and the movie, so let's say that. He's probably not going to like it. <laughs> dinner was $4 and the movie was free, but you got it. <laughs> Good. Um, so we're drunkenly singing all the way back. We finally get to his doorstep. Mm. That was an interesting night. I liked it. Did you, Robert? It seemed like you were kind of bitchy most of the time. Oh, he's smiling. All right. Maybe we're good for him. Maybe we mellow him out a bit. Oh boy. Let's hang out again soon, yeah? Oh, maybe. I don't know how I feel about you yet. <laughs> that was about half of a fucking awful date and half of a pretty good date, so I don't know. It evens back out to I don't know who you are yet. Um, I linger there for a second, um, swaying drunkenly in the night breeze. Robert claps me on the shoulder. Mm. Night, bud. <laughs> See ya, bud. <laughs> Robert heads back inside, and I stumble my way back home. Um, not as much romantic tension in this one, either, um, compared to Hugo and the other one, Brian. Um, I wonder, just each character, I don't know if that's indicative of, like, what Noodles is into, or just, like, um different relationships tend to take different paces just depending on how things go. I don't know. It was interesting to think about. Try not to make assumptions about people. Okay. Well, I mean, it's okay to make a, a snap judgment for your own safety, but how'd we do? Yeah, okay, so we didn't do terrible, but we didn't do great. We pissed him off a lot in the beginning by refusing to drink whiskey because <laughs> fuck peer pressure. Other than that, we did all right. We got way more daddy points than dad points. So, Welcome. knife dad. You got There's a dads. lot of memes in these achievement names, huh? Alright. Okay, so we've got almost everybody down. We're down to Damien and Matt. Um, I'm so sorry that I keep pushing Damien off. He's just 500% not anything that I'm into. My first introduction was him yelling at <laughs> yelling at a teenage cashier. Like, I'm just not into it. So let's hang out with Matt, because what's his, what's his story? Um, avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no-wave music. Okay. Aw, he's adorable. On a perfect Friday night, you are most likely to perfect my cold brew setup one drip at a time, baby. Hey, I thought we agreed you weren't saying baby anymore. If, <laughs> if you had one thing to take with you to a desert island, it would be five tunes to pass the fine tunes to pass the day days away. All right, my I the whole desert island question really stresses me out, um, because the thought of being trapped somewhere, like. 
I, uh, like, is the assumption that you'll be rescued, or is the assumption that you're going to die there? Or is the assumption that if you don't bring the right stuff, you'll die, but you might live if you bring the right stuff? I don't know. I just don't like the question. And then they do all these um, team-building exercises where they're like, you have a boat that's sinking like the Titanic, and you only have, like, one rowboat or whatever, so you can only take five people, and, like, who do you pick out of this group of people? And, like, one's a doctor, and the other one's, like, a ventriloquist or something, and it's like, obviously you want to pick, like, the best people. And it always turns into this weird-ass eugenics practice where people are like, we need a young woman to reproduce, and we need a doctor, like, in case everybody dies, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, everybody's life has value, even in a life-or-death situation, sir. So anyway, I oh, got way off track. But anyway, my point being that that question really stresses me out, and I don't like it. What are your turn-ons? Multi-instrumentalism. Okay, so, like, <laughs> bands with more than one instrument? I'm not a music person. Um, <laughs> I listen to um, Top 40 and then um, a lot of just like soft folk indie. <laughs> and then um, obviously like retro 80s classics. But anyway, um, uh, yeah. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. Okay. Live in the dream, Matt. Nice. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Matt. Normalized subtitles. Holy fuck. Okay, um, he's probably talking about foreign films also. What's your ideal date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. I'm <laughs> The silence was me resonating so fucking hard with that statement that I almost passed out. <laughs> okay, Matt, I'm picking it up. You're putting it down and I'm picking back up. Okay. I would never leave home without my headphones, both in ear and over here, just over ear, just in case. You fucking understand me. In ear is the is the low impact, um, easy to stuff in your pocket option. If if you need to do a lot of talking to folks, you can just pop them back in and out. But over the ear is when people won't fucking shut up and it's really loud wherever you are, and you obviously don't want people to talk to you. Over the ear is where it's at. Um, he spends a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> did we all just agree it's a bad idea? Maybe. Let's hang out with our bud. Hey, Matt. If you press the ignition too long, you'll just flood the engine. I mean, that's true. Um, I navigate to Matt's, Matt, Mad book? Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang out soon. You free later? So, this is low stakes the first time around, right? Um, they're calling them dates in my save files. But, um, I don't know if they're really dates or just, like, actual hanging out. Can you complete this game just friends with everybody? I don't know what the, um, internal machin machinations of this game are. Like, um, how many days you have, how, how your scores need to be to, like, have a good ending, how many different endings there are. That kind of stuff, I don't know. Um, so I'm going in completely blind. I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. Um, oh, so Matt got back to us pretty quick. All these guys are a little bit thirsty, aren't they? Uh, hey, dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Soundgarden. Want to come out? We're thinking about it. What's a Soundgarden? <laughs> it's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Is it not still cool to have soul patches? No, you're right, it's not. <laughs> oh man, I grew up in the era of soul patches. Oh man. Garbage. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Probably not. Um, when I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Um, Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be fun. That's a lot of descriptors for one type of band. <laughs> That's what Noodle said! I didn't even read that, sorry. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. Okay, Noodles, you like a little adventure, a little challenge. I log off dad book and think for a second. <laughs> when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtrack decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. The 80s. Um... Now that I'm thinking about it, probably we went with Craig at some point, yeah? Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. We probably had an afro, actually, but alright. 
I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I listened to and mentally envision all of their airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Um, the sickest way possible, because it was fucking amazing. <laughs> okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. Oh, okay. Um, I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. It's a different... See, it's a different tone. I do have different ways of expressing the same idea based on context. It just doesn't sound like it because my voice is stupid and flat. I mean, I always thought it was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? Um, Amanda's at the door, just getting home from school. Hmm. Anyway, what's up? Hmm. Amanda, how do I be cool? By not asking that fucking question, huh? first off. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. No, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Dad. Yeah, you have. You took me to one once when I was 12, remember? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh god, I tried so hard to forget. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Mm. Sounds like she had a blast. It was so much more than that and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Yeah, Amanda. I'm on your side. It was a, sounds like it was a great time. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm having, like, fucking flashbacks. No! Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Uh, <laughs> she's not wrong. Well, it's at a smaller place and I think Matt mentioned they're a punk band? Mm -hmm. Like DIY glitter punk trash straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Amanda, you are forever the sickest kid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are they post-punk, proto-punk, C-punk, Jeremy punk? Mmm, what's Jeremy right. punk? I made that one up to see if you could get away with it, but you didn't. Huh? They're not positive hardcore, are they? <sighs> he said that they're Canadian punk. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Amanda, what do you know? Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. I think you're giving Canadians too much credit. They're still as genocidal as Americans. They're just better at hiding it. Mm. <laughs> well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. Uh. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. But Noodles is all about counterculture rebellion. <laughs> That's it? Uh. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're going to jump into the mosh pit or anything. Um, it's interesting, right? We kind of have this dichotomy with me and me and Noodles both. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, uh, combating the mainstream includes softness and genuinely enjoying shit. Because right now, it's, count it's counterculture to enjoy shit when everyone else is trying so hard to seem like they're too cool to like anything except for, like, violence and murder, so... I reflect on that. Softness is punk. <laughs> well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a, if a set your goals hoodie offers to <laughs> offers to buy you merch, don't accept it. And definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterwards, where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. Amanda, do I need to keep track of you? What? Huh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. I'm worried about her. I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is a concert-appropriate attire. I highly doubt it. I see Matt out front, locking the door to the shop. Hey, perfect hey. timing. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? You're so adorable. Look at your pretty face. Um, of, the, of our dads, he's by far the cutest. Um, Craig's up there, too. Oh, God, Ruby, don't choke. You okay? She's really tearing this bone apart. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, ready? I was born ready. Yeah, we're game. Any situation, any outcome, I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open. I'm prepared to kill. Are you? Mm. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh no, we're fucking it up already. Redo, redo. 
Oh man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks are cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. I should just be honest. Anyway, we're coming up on time anyway, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching this garbage fire that is my inability to impress anybody but Brian, who I fucking hate. Yay! Thanks for watching, bye!